Hey everybody, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And on today's video, we're going to be talking about the 10 things you need to stock up on right now in case SHTF comes back around again and they want to start limiting products and everything else. In which case, they've already done, but it really doesn't matter because most of this stuff I'm going to show you are not even on the shelves. So if you can find it somewhere, you may want to think about purchasing some of this stuff and put it in your home. You will eventually use it. It won't go to waste. So let's get started. So first thing on the list, gloves. Any type of uh, surgical gloves you can get your hands on. Um, I ordered these, got these off Amazon, but I did get these before the whole uh, Charlie Victor 19 hit. So uh, I grabbed a couple boxes of these because I use them throughout the house to begin with, uh, especially if I'm using any harsh chemicals or something like that. And also when I'm like uh, cooking, uh, cleaning like chicken and that kind of stuff, um, I just feel more secure when you're wearing the gloves and stuff. So gloves are definitely a number one thing you want to make sure that you have because they will come in handy. The next thing is, number two, masks. Now Walmart does have these still on the shelves. Now the shelf, um, as I stated in one of my other videos that I just did, they had this huge shelf full and now they're down to two sections of shelf with these still on there. So obviously the mask thing is really starting to take off especially if you live in a state like I do in Florida where the cases are just mounting as I speak. Yes, it is due to more testing and everything else, but it just goes to show you that there's more people that are infected and um, without wearing the mask to basically just simply help control the whole virus thing, um, it's kind of useless. It's kind of like, you know, shoveling shit against the fan, if you know what I mean. Next on the list, number three, Lysol. Now this is Walmart's brand, because um, this is all we've been able to get. Uh, we haven't found a Lysol product in any store that we've been in. Um, Walmart, Publix, Winn-Dixie, um, Harvey's, any, any type of store, Walgreens, uh, nobody has had these products. Um, we did grab a couple of cans a while back when Walmart had these on the shelf, but they no longer have them. Now I did go online and I found a company where you can order them from, but you have to place a $50 order. And I'm taking it, it must come from overseas because it's a DHL shipment and shipping on it, if you don't spend more than $50, is 30 bucks. So they're gonna get you. So maybe if you could maybe go in with some of your friends or family and split the cost and order you know, Lysol, they had all kinds of different products and um, you could split the cost on that and that way it doesn't hit your checkbook as hard. All right, number four, paper towels. Yes, believe it or not, all of a sudden now paper towels are starting to dwindle again. They, at one point, the shelves were all stocked back up. When we went to Walmart this past weekend, um, they were down to basically a few Bounty products and Walmart paper towels. So you had your choice. The rest of the shelves were all empty. Go figure. Number, what are we up to? Number five, bleach. Now, if you can get bleach, um, I have regular bleach. This one here is, it's got lavender in it. Uh, the life you know, she likes to have a smell, so she likes lavender, so that's what she buys. But bleach is uh, becoming another hot topic because, you know, you can clean with it. You can dilute it down into a spray bottle or whatever, and you can take it from there. Um, you know, you can also, if it's a regular bleach, you could also use that in an emergency situation if you needed to disinfect your water so that you can drink it. I would definitely study up and read on how to do that before you go adding bleach to your water to disinfect it. This way here you're not taking in too much. 
don't listen to the president. Number six, baby wipes. Now, if you have babies, you probably already have these. But if you're like me, my babies are all grown up and gone. But these will come in handy for cleaning your hands if you're out and about. Um, they also come in handy in an emergency type situation if you lose water, such as in a hurricane, um, earthquake, any type of deal like that. You still have some way to clean yourself and uh, disinfect your body and everything else if you can't take a hot shower. Number seven, and believe it or not, wipes. Just regular flushable wipes. Now all of a sudden, um, just like some of the other products, you know, Walmart had a whole ton of these things because you can buy this um, this five pack here for I think it's $6.92, which isn't a bad price. And all of a sudden now uh, the shelves are getting very bare again. Um, I don't know if people are just, uh, they've learned from the past and they're just trying to uh, prepare for the future maybe, which is a good thing. Let's hope that people are doing that. That's the name of the game. You know, you get burnt once, you don't want to get burnt again. So make sure that you have all the products that you need. Now, another one is Clorox wipes. Any type of cleaning product or anything else is basically off the shelves. It's very difficult to find, and unless you know when they're getting their deliveries, you're not gonna find any of these said products. It's just, at least in my area here in Florida, and that could be because our cases are spiking. So I'm sure in Texas, Arizona, California, and New York, you're all in the same boat as we are. Um, if you live in a state where your cases are not going up, maybe it's a good idea to go out and purchase a few of these things and put them in your hall closet for a rainy day because you don't want to be caught with your pants down. Now, we were able to pick up, we got, there was two bottles left and I was in a hoarder. I only took one, so we got one big bottle of Pine Saw Cleaner. Um, that big bottle there, it should last for a while because you dilute it down. So uh, we have a big spray bottle, we can dilute that down and that should last me for quite a long time. Um, because it's a, a quarter of a cup per gallon of water. So you can make quite a few out of 60 full ounces, if you get what I'm saying. Uh, but like I said, there was two on the shelf and I only took one left one for somebody else that might need it and you know this way here that you know we can always dilute it down and we have cleaning products in case we need them now number 10 can anybody guess what number 10 is come on I've talked about it in my videos what's the first thing that went toilet paper what's the thing that's going now toilet paper so we're getting back to the old the TP is running short on the shelves now I can understand the cleaning products and everything else but for people to be just hoarding some of these the toilet paper and everything is just ridiculous um, it just doesn't make no sense at all um, but it is what it is and the toilet paper is running off the shelves they only had a few packs of a couple different kinds and the rest of it was gone so i don't know like i said if it's just my area comment down below if you're seeing the same thing in your stores if any of these products and stuff are missing and one more thing we're going to throw in an extra one just for fun now i don't know if this is because of we're coming into hurricane season it's starting to get active you know all the storms have kind of missed us and everything else but I do believe it's gonna be a very active year as we get closer to the peak season. And the next thing on the list, number 11, the bonus one is batteries. Now, I was just walking through and I was just checking out, you know, a bunch of different areas. Um, you know, in Walmart in the front of the store, we all know they have all these big battery displays and stuff. And they also have the battery displays back in sporting goods. Um, and I noticed all of a sudden it's like, all the batteries are like empty. 
Uh, you know, they did have a few packs here and there, but I mean, none of them were stocked up like they normally were. So batteries, if you live in a hurricane prone area and you haven't got your supplies yet, you may want to start checking out and see if you can find batteries and stuff and buy them now. Because for some reason, those suckers are getting to be a hot topic just like all the other items that we talked about. <laughs> so, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I will catch you all on the flip side. And don't forget, this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And check out a couple of my new playlists that I just put out. There's still the one for Hurricane Season 2020. And I just put out another one. Um, a good playlist for everybody to watch. It's the best of the best. It's my best videos that's got the most views and everything else to get you the quality information that you may need to make sure that you can survive any situation. Once again, survival preparedness for beginners. Catch you all on the flip side.